My name's Cliff Eaton and I'm a Chartered Physiotherapist. I'm a long-standing clinical specialist with a remit to promote the effective use of electrophysical agents across the world. So today's tip we're looking at muscle stim and electrode placement. The most effective, comfortable and safe place to put your electrodes is over the motor point. Now we know from Gobo's work that the motor point in the lower limb can occur anywhere. Burringer mapped them out in the upper limb, also found they occur anywhere. So with our Chattanooga device, we supply a motor point pen so that we can locate these motor points. We put a reference electrode at the top of the muscle group that we're looking to work, and then we attach our motor point pen to the other end of the electrode. For those of you who are using wireless technology, you can also still use your motor point pen by clipping it into the wireless pod. The electrodes we use have a water-based gel in order to allow the impulse to travel through this, this very resistant material called skin. To help our impulse with the motor point pen, we just cover the muscle we want to look at in a water-based gel. We go into our program and find a program called Motor Point specific frequency for finding motor point, we enter. We have a body chart because the pulse width varies around your body. So we choose the correct area with the correct pulse width. We press enter. We, you only need a small amount of intensity, guys. About, I, I set it at sort of level five. This is not in milliamps. And you'll find that uh, with some patients, five might not be enough with other patients it might be too much so it's a good place to start so i set it at five and my patient can now feel a tingling sensation in the muscle but we're not seeing any evidence of an action potential but as i move the pen around i can find the motor point and the lower number that i have in here the more specific I can be. So I just reduce this to three. So I move it away, it stops. As I move it back over, it comes on. So you'll see with this patient, we're in the distal third of the muscle, the vastus medialis. If you read the anatomy books, the anatomy books would tell you that the motor point will normally occur at the junction of the superior third to the distal two thirds of the muscle. So I would have expected it to be here. So had I put it here, the impulse now has to travel through this very sensitive material called skin to get to the motor point to go into the muscle. Hence, it will not feel comfortable for the patient. So if you use muscle stim and patients find it uncomfortable because you haven't got the electrode over the motor point. Now, what I can also show you on our Chattanooga Academy is how we can use this motor point pen as a diagnostic tool we can actually determine whether we've got things like AMI, autogenic muscle inhibition, or any other pathology which affects the patency of a motor nerve. I hope you find that information useful, and um, I look forward to chatting with you again.